In the Carolina kitchen today, a sweet fruit becomes the stage for some tangy cheese and a cured meat. We're rolling them up into a tasty fig appetizer. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Chef and owner of Strata, Anthony Serrato, is here with us. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Uh, you've got a lot going on in your life, and one of the most exciting upcoming events is going to be the Asheville Wine and Food Fest. Tell us yes. a little bit about it. Uh, it's a great event. A lot of people uh, participate. Uh, there's uh, Chef Challenges leading up to the big gala that's going to be at the uh, old Civic Center, right. formerly known as Civic Center. Uh, we're going to have a booth there as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some, featuring our bakehouse items and also uh, some of uh, this Tuscan fig dish, actually. And the Wine and Food Fest has a little bit of something for everybody. So if you're not a big wine connoisseur, I remember last mm -hmm. year, we've got local breweries. There's a lot going on there, plus the awesome food. Yeah, it's really a great event. Uh, this is, I think this is the third year, fourth year. Um, it gets better every year. All right, so make sure you guys check that out coming up at the, at the end of August. But also, let's go ahead and find out what's going to be there. You are making a fig dish. Yeah, it's just our uh, Tuscan stuffed figs. Uh, usually it's company with the duck that we have on the menu, but uh, people loved it so much that we had to make it an appetizer as well. Okay. So we're going to use a little ghee, which is clarified butter, to start off this dish. Uh, the first thing we do is got calamara figs. Uh, we core them out, uh, take some local goat cheese, chop up some fresh uh, basil that is grown from Fork Mountain Farms out in Marshall. Uh, and then we wrap it with uh, prosciutto and just uh, put one of these bamboo knotted skewers on here. That's nice and hot. I like to use sea salt in everything. Uh, rather than just regular traditional eye dye salt. A little black pepper. And as pepper. some people wrap figs with bacon, why the prosciutto? Is it better taste, you think? Um, I think so. Plus, that makes it Italian <laughs> for there us. There you go. <laughs> Give it a quick sear. Wow, they're smelling great. Very simple. While that's searing, we're going to take some of the arugula, fresh arugula, a little uh, lemon-infused olive oil, this for the sheen. You mix that all together. Just stick it on the plate. Take your figs. With your fingers. Looks hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, many years in the kitchen. Yeah, I guess you have no feeling left on them, right? No. Just a little uh, reduction of balsamic vinegar. Oh, yum. And that's it. And take a little fresh basil, a little chiffonade. While you do that, let's get you guys a recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. Putting the finishing touches on these figs. Wrapped in prosciutto. That looks amazing. And again, if you want to try these at home, certainly you'll get the recipe offline. And you can also try them and have Anthony make them for you at the Asheville Wine and Food Festival. Um, coming up later in August, so be sure to uh, go to WLS.com for all the details. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.